Hello, I'm Tomasz from Polygon Flow. Do you have troubles finding your UE5 assets? Or do you find it annoying having to copy your assets into your new project? I have been struggling with this for too long, but today I'm happy to tell you about a new free plugin that will improve your UE5 asset management experience. The Dash Content Browser is part of our world building plugin Dash, but you can use the free content browser without touching any of the other Dash features. This asset management system is truly free to use for everyone forever. Let's dig in. In Unreal, a Dash icon will appear in the top left corner. Clicking on it will bring up the Dash toolbar. In the Dash toolbar, clicking on the content menu will open the content browser and all of its features are freely available in the free version. Let's click on it. A new window has popped up. From here, you can access different asset libraries such as the Fab library, the Quixel Bridge library, the Polyhaven library, and the IES library. You can also, of course, access your own project assets, but we will discuss this a bit later. Let's start with the Polyhaven library. This is a free library of 2000 meshes, materials, and HDRIs, which we have integrated into Dash, allowing you to easily drop assets into your scene without needing to download them separately from the Polyhaven website. By holding Ctrl and scrolling with the middle mouse button, you can zoom in closer to reveal texture resolution options. Right-clicking brings up the UI with multiple options, such as viewing asset properties and tags. Dash automatically creates various tags for assets based on their thumbnail images. This means you can search for assets not only by name, but also by their properties. For example, if I type in tool, every asset that contains this word in text or in name will appear. The more relevant the search term is to the asset, the higher it will appear in the list. I select the 2K resolution and simply drag and drop the asset into the scene. Dash also created a PBR material, so I don't have to manually connect material nodes as if I had downloaded the asset from the website. HDRIs and materials are just as easy to use. I search for a concrete material select the resolution, and drop it onto the desired mesh. Now let's switch to the Fab tab. When you download assets from the Fab plugin, they will be added to the Fab view in the Dash Content Browser. I will search for an asset and download it. It instantly appears in the Dash Content Browser and has search text just as the Polyhaven assets. You can also easily access your downloaded Megascans assets from the Quixel Bridge plugin. Megascan atlases are not yet available in the Fab plugin, but luckily we have an integration to the standalone bridge software, which is still available as of March 2025. And as soon as you have downloaded atlases from the standalone bridge software, they will appear in the Quixel tab along with the other Quixel assets from the bridge plugin. If you don't see the atlases or the assets from the bridge plugin or the Fab plugin, check your Dash preferences to ensure the paths are correctly configured. Another great asset library in Dash is the IES library. Browse through tons of lighting setups to make your scene even more realistic. Now let's talk about the project library tab. Here you will be able to add your custom project assets and assign text to them to make them easily searchable and accessible. I select the folder where my assets are stored in the folder tree on the left side. I click on the Compute button and start the process. This may take a few minutes. The assets get assigned tags based on their content and properties. After a short while, all my assets are available, searchable and ready to be easily dropped into the scene. It's that simple. As I mentioned earlier, the main advantage of the tagging system is that you can search for your assets not only by name but also by properties. You can edit these tags or add new tags by double-clicking on a single asset or shift-selecting several assets and choose Batch Edit to adjust the tags on several assets at once. Additionally, you can easily search for similar assets. In the Dash free version, you can access all your computed assets in the Dash Content Browser within any UE project. If you can't find them in the Content Browser, simply add the Projects folder in the Preferences menu. You can either add them manually or use the automatic search.
As you can see, once you've computed the assets, you can immediately use it in any of your projects. The default storage location for Dash metadata is directly within the Unreal project itself. This makes it as easy as sharing your project for any team member to access all Dash content browser data. Let's check out the unified view. Here you can find all the content browser assets in one place and browse through them. Let's search for tools. All assets tagged with tool have appeared. Among them, there's also an HDRI. In such cases, I can filter out HDRIs by typing in 3D. You can also add and remove terms from the search using the plus and minus operators. For example, searching for tool minus HDRI will show all assets tagged as tool, but exclude all HDRIs. Another example would be tool plus box. Note that it's important to leave a space before using the operator next to the second word. If you have blueprints with meshes, you can of course also browse, search and use them directly from the project library tab in the Dash Content Browser. To make sure you can organize your assets exactly how you like it, we also have a collection system. Simply hold Shift and select your assets and then drag and drop them into one or multiple collections to get started. To remove an asset from a collection, just drag it out into an empty area in the collection space. Keep the collections for yourself or share them with your team to make sure everyone knows the best assets for the next project. Simply right-click on the collection and create a shared version of it. If someone from your team modifies a shared collection, you will receive a notification and have the option to load the changes or override them. So let's summarize. Why do we think the Dash Content Browser is better than the native Content Browser in Unreal? First, having your assets tagged makes them a lot easier to find as you don't have to remember their names or in what folder they are placed. With the Dash Collection system, it is much easier to create and share your asset organization with your team. No more need to manually adding assets to new Unreal projects. Once your assets have been computed in one project, you can browse, search and use them in any future Unreal project. You get easy access to the free Polyhaven assets and the lights from the free IES library. So, now you know how powerful the free content browser from Dash can be. If you want to try it out for yourself, all you need to do is go to the polygonflow.io website, download and install Dash from the Try Dash page, and then once installed, you can start the free Dash license directly from inside the Dash license manager. If you decide to try it out, Make sure you join the Discord server if you have any questions or improvement suggestions. You can find the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.